The world of hacking is often shrouded in mystery, conjuring images of shadowy figures hunched over glowing screens. It's a world of complex code, digital exploits, and ethical dilemmas. While the media often portrays hackers as villains, the reality is far more nuanced. Hackers can be categorized into different groups based on their motives and methods. Two such groups, black hats and gray hats, represent opposite ends of the ethical spectrum. Black hat hackers are the cyber criminals driven by personal gain, malicious intent, or a desire to wreak havoc. They exploit vulnerabilities for financial profit, steal sensitive data, and disrupt critical infrastructure. Gray hat hackers, on the other hand, operate in a moral gray area. They may engage in illegal activities but often with the intention of exposing vulnerabilities or raising awareness about security flaws. Understanding the differences between black hat and gray hat hackers is crucial in today's digital age. As our lives become increasingly reliant on technology, so too does our vulnerability to cyber attacks. By understanding the motivations, methods, and ethical implications of these two groups, we can better protect ourselves and our digital assets. The world of hacking is a complex and constantly evolving landscape. As technology advances, so too do the methods and motivations of hackers. Whether driven by greed, a desire for notoriety, or a genuine concern for cybersecurity, hackers play a significant role in shaping the digital world we live in. Black Hat hackers are the criminals of the cyber world. They are driven by personal gain, often financial, but sometimes their motivations can be more complex. These hackers have no qualms about breaking the law to achieve their goals, often operating in the shadows. Their victims range from individuals to large corporations and even governments, leaving no one safe from their reach. Black Hats use their technical skills to exploit vulnerabilities in systems and software, constantly seeking new ways to breach defenses. By gaining unauthorized access to sensitive information or disrupting critical operations, they can cause significant harm. One of the primary motivations for black hat hackers is financial gain, which drives many of their illegal activities. They may steal credit card information, bank account details, or other financial data to make unauthorized purchases or drain accounts, causing financial ruin for their victims. Ransomware attacks, where hackers encrypt a victim's data and demand payment for its release, have become increasingly common and lucrative for black hats, often targeting vulnerable organizations. Beyond financial gain, black hats may be motivated by a desire to cause disruption or chaos, seeking to destabilize systems and create fear. They may launch distributed denial-of-service attacks, flooding a target's servers with traffic to make their websites or online services unavailable, causing widespread disruption. These attacks can cripple businesses, disrupt essential services, and sow discord, leading to significant operational challenges. Black Hat hackers often operate in organized groups, sharing resources, expertise and profits, making them more effective and dangerous. These groups can be highly sophisticated with well-defined hierarchies, specialized skills and global reach, making them formidable adversaries. The rise of the dark web, a hidden part of the internet, has provided Black Hats with a platform to buy and sell stolen data, hacking tools, and other illicit goods and services, further fueling their activities. Black Hat hackers pose a significant threat to individuals, businesses, and governments worldwide, with their actions having far-reaching consequences. Their actions can have devastating financial, operational, and reputational consequences, often leaving lasting damage. As technology advances and our reliance on it grows, so too does the threat posed by these cybercriminals, making it crucial to stay vigilant and prepared. Black Hat hackers employ a wide range of techniques to exploit vulnerabilities and achieve their goals. These individuals are often highly skilled and use their knowledge for malicious purposes. These techniques are constantly evolving as new technologies emerge and old ones are patched. The rapid pace of technological advancement means that both hackers and cybersecurity professionals must continuously adapt. Understanding these techniques is crucial for individuals and organizations to protect themselves from cyber attacks. Without this knowledge, they remain vulnerable to a wide array of threats. One common technique is phishing, where attackers send fraudulent emails or messages disguised as legitimate communications from trusted sources. These deceptive messages are designed to trick recipients into revealing sensitive information. These messages often contain links that, when clicked, 
direct users to fake websites designed to steal login credentials, financial information, or other sensitive data. The consequences of falling for such scams can be severe. Malware, short for malicious software, is another tool in the Black Hat arsenal. This software can cause significant damage to computer systems and networks. Malware encompasses a wide range of software designed to harm or gain unauthorized access to computer systems. It can be used to steal data, spy on users, or disrupt operations. Viruses, worms, trojans, and ransomware are all examples of malware that can infect devices, steal data, or disrupt operations. Each type of malware has its own unique method of spreading and causing harm. Social engineering is a technique that relies on manipulating people into giving up confidential information or granting access to systems. This method exploits human psychology rather than technical vulnerabilities. Black hats may impersonate IT support personnel, trusted vendors, or even colleagues to trick individuals into revealing passwords, installing malicious software, or granting access to sensitive data. This form of deception can be highly effective. Brute force attacks involve systematically attempting different username and password combinations until access is gained. This method relies on the sheer volume of attempts to eventually find the correct credentials. While this method can be time-consuming, it can be effective against weak or easily guessable passwords. Strong, complex passwords are essential to defend against such attacks. Black hats may use automated tools to speed up the process. These tools can attempt thousands of password combinations in a short period of time, increasing the chances of success. Black hat hackers are constantly developing new and innovative techniques to exploit vulnerabilities. Their creativity and persistence make them formidable adversaries. As cybersecurity measures improve, so too do the methods used to circumvent them. This ongoing battle between attackers and defenders drives continuous innovation on both sides. Staying informed about the latest threats and vulnerabilities is essential for individuals and organizations to protect themselves from these cyber criminals. Awareness and education are key components of a robust cybersecurity strategy. Section 4. Gray Hats, Walking the Line Gray hat hackers occupy a fascinating and often controversial space in the world of cybersecurity. Unlike their black hat counterparts, gray hats don't necessarily operate with malicious intent. They often hack systems without permission, but their motivations are typically driven by a desire to expose vulnerabilities, raise awareness about security flaws, or challenge the status quo. One of the defining characteristics of gray hat hackers is their willingness to bend or even break the law in pursuit of their goals. They may access systems without authorization, but they typically do so without causing harm or stealing data. Their actions often fall into a legal gray area, making it difficult to categorize them as purely criminal or ethical. Gray hats often justify their actions by arguing that they are helping to improve cybersecurity. By exposing vulnerabilities, they believe they are forcing companies and organizations to take security more seriously and patch flaws that could be exploited by malicious actors. They see themselves as a necessary counterbalance to the apathy or negligence they perceive in the cybersecurity industry. However, the methods employed by gray hats can be controversial. Unauthorized access to systems, even with good intentions, is still illegal in many jurisdictions. Their actions can also have unintended consequences such as disrupting services, causing data leaks, or damaging reputations. Gray hat hackers walk a fine line between ethical hacking and cybercrime. Their motivations may be noble, but their methods can be legally and ethically questionable. Despite the controversy, gray hats play a complex and often beneficial role in the cybersecurity ecosystem. Section 5. Gray hat activities between legality and morality. Gray hat hackers engage in a wide range of activities that blur the lines between ethical hacking and cybercrime. These individuals operate in a space that is neither entirely legal nor entirely illegal, making their actions particularly complex to categorize. These activities are often driven by a complex interplay of motivations, including a desire to expose vulnerabilities, challenge authority, or simply satisfy their own curiosity. The motivations behind their actions can be as varied as the individuals themselves. One common gray hat activity is vulnerability disclosure. This involves identifying weaknesses in systems and bringing them to light. Gray hats may discover security flaws in software, websites, or other systems and disclose them to the affected organization. This can be a double-edged sword, as it can help improve security but also expose the organization to potential risks. 
This disclosure may be done publicly through online forums or social media or privately by contacting the organization directly. The method of disclosure can significantly impact how the information is received and acted upon. Another gray hat activity is penetration testing, also known as ethical hacking. This involves simulating attacks to identify vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. Gray hats may offer their services to companies testing their security systems for vulnerabilities without prior authorization. This proactive approach can be both helpful and problematic. While this can be beneficial for companies looking to improve their security posture, it can also be seen as trespassing or unauthorized access. The legality of such actions often depends on the jurisdiction and specific circumstances. Some gray hats engage in hacktivism, using their technical skills to promote a political or social cause. This form of activism leverages technology to make a statement or bring about change. They may deface websites, leak sensitive information, or disrupt online services to draw attention to their cause or expose wrongdoing. These actions can have far-reaching consequences, both positive and negative. Hacktivism can range from relatively harmless pranks to serious cyber attacks with significant consequences. The impact of these actions can vary widely, depending on the targets and methods used. Gray hats may also engage in activities that are more difficult to categorize, such as reverse engineering software, cracking copy protection schemes, or developing exploits for vulnerabilities. These activities often push the boundaries of legality and ethics. These activities may be driven by curiosity, a desire to learn, or a belief that information should be free. The underlying motivations can be as diverse as the methods employed. The activities of gray hat hackers often fall into a legal and ethical gray area. This ambiguity makes it challenging to clearly define the boundaries of acceptable behavior. While their intentions may be good, their methods can be controversial and sometimes illegal. The fine line they walk between right and wrong is what makes their actions so intriguing and contentious. Understanding the motivations and activities of gray hats is crucial for navigating the complex world of cybersecurity. By gaining insight into their actions, we can better prepare for and respond to the challenges they present.